Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Question number 4, uh, chapter 24, electric potential. Figure gives electric potential V as a function of X. Uh, part A rank the five situations, uh, regions according to the magnitude of the X component of the electric field within them, greatest first. What is the direction of the field along the X axis in region 2 and region 4? So we are given a situation, uh, we are given a graph in which uh, we are shown variation of potential with x along x axis and we have uh, five regions are highlighted in this graph along x axis where to rank these five regions according to the magnitude of the electric field. So all we need to know uh, for this problem is that electric field is the negative of the gradient of the potential. Uh, we are talking only about x axis here, so we will be talking only about x component of the field. So x component of the field is negative of partial differentiation of potential with respect to x. Negative of uh, uh, gradient of potential. Okay. If we only talk about the magnitude in part A, we will we are only concerned with the magnitude, then that is only magnitude of partial v by partial x, which is simply slope of the graph. Okay, slope of the graph. Greater the slope of the graph, greater is the magnitude of the field. Lesser the slope of the graph, lesser is the magnitude of the field. If the slope of the graph is zero, then uh, magnitude of the electric field is zero. So uh, let's analyze these five regions. You can clearly see out of five regions, there are uh, three regions where slope is zero. Region one, region three, and region five, slope is zero. So field is zero. If slope is zero, field is zero. So in region one, field is zero. In region three, field is zero. In region five, field is zero. Now we are left with two and four. Okay, we are left with two and four. In case of two, we have a positive slope, and in case of four, we are having negative slope. But that has to do with the direction of the field. So let's only consider the magnitude this time. Clearly, you can see two is more inclined. 2 is more inclined than 4. That means 2 is having greater slope than 4. If slope of 2 is greater than magnitude of field, in case of 2 is greater. So magnitude of field, magnitude of field in case of 2 is greater than magnitude of field in case of uh, 4. Because 2 is having greater slope. Then rest of the regions, field is 0. So this is greater than region 1 equal to region 2 equal to, no, not 2, not 2. Region 3, then equal to region 5, and all these are 0. So in case of uh, field, in case of 2 is having greater greatest magnitude than 4, then 1, 3, and 5 are having 0 magnitude. Then we are asked to find our direction uh, of the field along x axis in region 2 and region 4. Region 2 and region 4. Again, uh, remember field is negative gradient of the potential. So field is negative of slope. Okay, field is negative of slope. If slope is positive, then field is negative, meaning field is in the negative direction. If slope is negative, then field is positive, meaning field is in the positive direction. In case of region 2, in case of region 2, you can see slope is positive. Slope is positive, it's going up. Slope is positive, so field is in negative direction. If slope is positive, then field is negative, which means field is in negative direction. And in case of uh, in case of 4, in case of 4, we can see slope is negative. Slope is negative. If slope is negative, then field is positive, which means field is in positive direction. So field along x axis is in positive direction. So simple, slope is positive, field is in negative direction. Slope is negative, field is in positive direction. Is that fine? So that's what we're asked to find out. That'll do for this session.